Republican Congressman Tony Gonzalez of the great state of Texas, now member of the House Homeland Security and Appropriations Committee. So good to have you in focus. Look, I want to learn right away um, what was being said on Capitol Hill after that hearing about how to protect yourselves. We're all concerned. Thank you for having me, Harris. We're all concerned. I mean, I think Americans do not feel safe, uh, whether that's in D.C., whether that's in Washington, mm -hmm. certainly in Eagle Pass along the border. But lawmakers are concerned. We've seen this happen over and over again. How do we protect ourselves, not only in D.C., but all throughout the country? Because this is getting worse. It starts by the lawlessness. We have to stop the lawlessness and throw the book at the criminals that are conducting this. Yeah, you know, let's get to brass tacks. I mean, when you hear someone who's in charge of your safety, Capitol Police, any of those people saying, well, you know, um, it's just a staffing issue and I'm not really sure what to do to go next. I mean, how does that make you feel? You just nailed it. You got to you got to nail these guys with the law. Why can't they get that done? Yeah, it makes you feel as if you're on your you're on your own a little bit. And what the boils down to is we have to enforce the laws. We have to make examples out of criminals and we have to show to the world, not only in Washington, but all throughout the country, that the lawlessness is, is going to stop. We've had enough. And that is it, it. Talk is cheap. It's all about actions and it's all about throwing uh, behind bars some of these bad criminals that are that are hurting everyday people. Yeah, talk is cheap and it can be dangerous and deadly. We are so, so fortunate and he is blessed to be okay today, Congressman Cuellar. All right, let's move to this. New York City Mayor Adams is actually going to Central and South America this week to try to convince people, you know, below our border not to come to New York City. The mayor's office has billed the four-day journey as a chance to foster relations with local leaders in migrant hotspots and learn more about the path asylum seekers take. His first stop, Mexico City, Adam's trip comes as New York reportedly preps for a possible record-breaking surge in new asylum seekers. The city's interim director of asylum operations recently warned of up to 4,200 asylum seekers in a single week. Well, that would be, that'd be a big deal here in New York because they struggled with 110,000 people while your state had more than 7 million crossover last year. Uh, I, I don't know how they're going to get this done. But he's going south of the border. Governor Kathy Hochul of New York now is calling for limits on border crossings and making headlines with those remarks. A quick watch. Instead of uh, gambling with the future of this country, why don't you roll up your sleeves and sit down with Democrats and get in a room and don't come out until you've figured out it's not that complicated. I could do it in about five minutes. Really? Could she? You know, I appreciate the engagement. I think there needs to be more engagement. But the mayor of New York City should be focused about New York City. He, he shouldn't have to fall, go all, all these other places. All he has to do is turn on Fox News to see what's happening across the, the, the uh, southern hemisphere and to figure out that our border's out of control. I met yesterday with the ambassador to Panama, and he told me two years ago they had 1,000 a, a people come over illegally. Last year they had 240,000 people coming over illegally. This wow. year? They're, 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 this year, they think 700,000 people are coming are going to come over illegally. So this is where the United States has to be a leader. There's going to be a, a Latin American summit on, on immigration here this month. I'm urging Secretary Blinken to be at that meeting, not someone less than that. This has to be at the Secretary of State level. Bring all the ministers from all these different countries mm -hmm. and sit down and, and figure out a, a, a how we have a solution to some of these problems. Do you think that, though, that's the message that that they get from from the man in the White House that it's that critical that a secretary show up. They need to have that message because this isn't just impacting Eagle Pass, Texas. It's not just impacting New York City. It's Chicago. It's L.A. It's every little small town and big city in the entire country. And we have to put an end to that. That's why I introduced the Safers Act on Friday. It's, it does three simple things that we all should get behind. It raises credible fear, which is important. It surges immigration judges to the uh, to the border. That way we can get rocket dockets, meaning the last person that comes over gets their case heard. And then the third piece, which is the most important, you deport people that do not mm -hmm. qualify for asylum. This is what we have to do as a country, not as Republicans and Democrats, if we want to get this border under control. Congressman Tony Gonzalez, uh, you are on the front lines in a border state. Thank you so very much for your leadership. Good to see you. Thank you.
Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.